Hello Libra, this is your general um, love reading for April 2017. Uh, this is for Sun, Moon, and Ascendant signs. I would suggest watching your other uh, videos for your uh, Moon and Ascendant sign and just your Sun sign to get a more accurate uh, reading for the month of April. This is a general love reading. I might have just said it was a general reading, but it's a, it's a general love reading. I'm going to do a five card spread with the right away tarot deck and then I'm going to um, pull a card from this other deck because it gives you like set meanings for the uh, reverse and a break meanings for the cards and I will also be doing a three card reading with the right away tarot deck to get a more uh, get more insight on your your love for uh, April 2017, so let's get started. I need to pull out the card out of this deck. Uh, whoa, had one of these cards in there. So I can get the, the spread, because this has some spreads. Um, there's a card in here that has spreads on it that... There's a five card spread on here that I have been trying to learn, and so this is a relatively new spread for me, even though I've already done with all the other ones, but I can't memorize that well. So yeah. I'm going to set those up there, as well as this box and the bag that's my bed. <coughs> so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and shuffle these cards for you. Hope you Libras are doing well in your love and relationships so far in the March of, well, the March of month, the month of March into April. Now there is a Venus retrograde, so this could affect your relationships and finances and have an overall effect on what comes through for here. Because I've had a lot of signs, their finances and their relationships kind of connected. So. the cards are shuffled and I'm going to go ahead and light this candle for protection and add a divination awareness or psychic awareness. Um, I would say uh, finances are definitely coming through for you for uh, your relationship reading. And your underlying energy, I can't really see if, any, if the, all this stuff's in frame or not, um, is the Four of Swords. And uh, that tells me that in your relationships this month that you're not in peace with, with what's going on. There might be some unfinished business or you might have left an argument where it is but to you it's not really resolved in your mind. <coughs> now number one is your feelings. So I'm going to interpret this as uh, your significant other, maybe the person you're dating is an immature air sign, uh, moon sign or ascendant, Gemini, Aquarius or Libra. Um, Maybe that you're feeling that perhaps your significant other is only saying things to calm down the relationship when in reality they're not really fixing anything. You could be going on uh, a, 
you could be traveling with your significant other, but without very much uh, pre like preparation. You might have just found out about it. It was like spur of the moment. Um, your influences for love could perhaps be an earth sign. Um, it could be your finances. Uh, you may be doing really well. Um, or the significant, or your significant other might be doing very well financially. And then maybe perhaps, um, what could solve some of your issues with communication would just be some proper space. Maybe get another job, or maybe your issue with your relationship is lack of finances, and that's really impacting you. Your emotional block is is you you don't know what to do for your relationship issues. It it's gonna take a lot of work. Maybe you're not ready to do all that work, maybe you're feeling kinda of lazy, maybe you know what you need to do but you don't want to for whatever reason. Um Yes. And then your expectations is for your relationships and in your financial life to fail and not to be as fulfilling. Or maybe you're expecting things to take more work than what you're willing to put out. And then your most likely outcome is to fool in reverse. And I would say in your relationship, don't fall for the classic, oh, I'm sorry, things will get better because they won't. Um, also, don't be foolish. Um, I'm going to pull out the direct meaning for that card out of this deck so I can give you more insight into what that card means. Normally this could go faster. <laughs> That's like a lot of cards that go through. So what it says for the full on here and reverse is you're childlike in some ways, you still have much to learn. Worry and fear blocks positive action. Don't submit to others' rules and demands of conformity. You do not recognize the danger you are in. You are close to ruin with crazy decisions, reckless actions, and foolish choices. Your ideas are not sound and may lead to catastrophe. So maybe perhaps you're having issues with the person that you're with and um, you you let you let them continue to stay in your life but that's kind of a, a reckless decision and I think that the temporary happiness you will have in your relationship coming from a not very good deal made on your part like this card said may lead to catastrophe um, I would be a little bit more firm in your communications and dealings with this person that you may be talking to or with a curtain because I have my window open. Don't mind. The oh, okay, okay, okay. Sorry, Libra. Um, you may be want to be more firm in the communications. You may not want to. You may not want to be satisfied with the classic. I'm sorry, things will get better because they will not if neither of you put your work into it. Um. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and pull like an oracle type of card from here, I'm going to put this card back in the deck, and I'm going to shuffle, and this will give you some sort of advice or like an overview, stuff to watch out for, for the month of April 2017, and I wouldn't make any harsh financial or relationship um, agreements or anything like that uh, until after the Venus retrograde, I think that's important, so...
card fell out. I'm going to as well use that one. So for the card that fell out, it's the Two of Swords upright, and it says, No major changes or few events. Your heart is closed off to avoid the possibility of pain. Emotional barriers protect you from love. Your baseline denial. Inability to accept the reality of your problems keeps the situation from changing. Taking action and compromise resolves issues. Okay, so that kind of goes back to what I said. Um, don't... Like, I'm going to keep saying this, but don't be satisfied. Don't take no for an answer. Don't take I'm sorry and be satisfied with that because that's not satisfactory. You're in denial about what's really going on and the fact that it needs more work and that both participants, both of them, must be willing to make this relationship better. And if neither or just one of them are, are the only ones willing to put effort in, to the relationship, it's not going to work. Um, and also, you need to know when to walk away because there's a there's a point where you know things, no matter what will happen, will never get better. You, maybe all the issues that you feel in yourself and depression are stemming from your relationship, or your lack of financial stability is stemming from your relationship. And maybe perhaps it's time to walk away instead of continuing to do the same thing over and over again because it's only leading them more unhappiness which nobody needs in their lives definitely not you Libra and then the card that I pulled out it says you will cause your own problems your freedom is threatened you feel that you have no choice you may be accused falsely loss of job pride and prestige disaster and the accompanying unnecessary suffering could have been avoided take, take action to stop trouble and that is so important you do not want to let your love life and your your mental health become disastrous because you are afraid to put your foot down and say no. You are afraid to be like, here are my boundaries, respect them or leave. Because that's what you have to do. You need to be like, hey, I don't like it when you do this. And if you can't respect that, then hey, hit the curb. Because, you know, you, you need to know... You need to have a level of self-respect. It's important to love your significant other and respect their wishes, but it has to be reciprocated. They have to return that. So, um, I'm going to do a three-card reading. Although I feel like that this is kind of summed up in how it is now, and I probably shouldn't have pulled the Oracle card until I did the three-card spread because I kind of just forgot about it. However, I'm going to do one regardless, so you may have a little bit more insight into your relationship issues. Well, the underlying energy, I would say, is a lot of emotional um, turmoil or lack of intuition to know what to do. Um, it seems in the past that there was a lot of, like, 
I use the word fertility, but I, I really mean like love and sex, specifically kind of sex, but not in the sense where someone's getting pregnant or you're pregnant. You may, you may have been pregnant in the past, but I don't really see that. Um, I see a lot of creative energy, um, a lot of what, uh, like, you, a lot of knowing what to do in the past or thinking that you know what to do. Um, and then currently we have the sun in reverse. And I'm going to go ahead and pull this out of that deck. But I guess that's what that's kind of telling me is you kind of had a recent awakening of what's going on in your relationship. But you're kind of denying it. You're not letting it come to full light. You know that it's there, but it, it's not. I don't know. Let me pull this out of the deck because that's kind of what I'm getting for it. Okay, it's actually right here. That's pretty cool. Um, it says... Immaturity, laziness, lack of ambition, crisis and confidence, you've lost belief in your abilities, this card signals a low point in your life. Okay, let me just say, maybe in the past, Libra, you were a very dominant woman or man, but now, because of your significant other, you're kind of, you know, like, sometimes when you're in a relationship and you can go into a relationship being extremely strong will and secure in who you are, but then when you're in it, that person can tear you down so much and make you feel so dumb that you become insecure and you become codependent on that person. Because more than likely, they're probably narcissistic. Um, it says, any facet of your life is at risk. Your future is in doubt. Possible loss of job, home, or loved one. Relationship trouble. Broken engagement. Deal with the reality of your situation. Like, everything he's saying, like... Take action to stop trouble. Deal with the reality of your situation. I think that's important and that's something that you need to do. Um, and you will know in here, you will know in your heart and in your mind what to do about this when the time comes. Um, and then this one's temperance in reverse. So, in the future, lack of moderation and balance. And I will say that this is only true and lack of holding back your tongue, like biting your tongue, if you do not take action. Or this may, or this may lead you to take action about a relationship. I'm gonna go ahead and find this one in that card and read to you what that says. And if I read kind of fast, I apologize. Um, that's just kind of me. I talk fast, I think fast, I read fast in my mind and out loud. That's just kind of who I am. I'm sad, serious. What can I say for myself? Okay. It says, a very unsettling and volatile period, an ability to juggle multiple responsibilities. Okay, so let me just say about juggling multiple responsibilities. Um, you will not be able to juggle your finances and love for the month of April unless you balance both of them and you find a balance. Like, your turmoil in your love life will imbalance your finances. So you may walk into your work depressed or anxious or just genuinely upset and then it will affect your ability to put your best out there and to be your best at your job. It says over commitment, situations are out of your control, arguments and comp competing interests dominate your life, danger of drowning or accident at sea, react to conflict with calm. And that is very important. The, when you go decide to take action and and to take back the control in your life, um, don't, don't be a dick, don't be a douche, um, just be calm about it, because if the person that you're with, if their temper is volatile and switches and you, it, they're unpredictable, the best thing you can do is remain calm, because when they try to turn that back around you, be like, hey, I wasn't being that way to you, why are you being that way to me? Um... And that's very, very, very important, and, there's, and I can't stress that enough. The most you can do is be a calm, decent person. And also on the side of being calm, try not to let your emotions cloud your judgment. Try to use your mind. Try to be considerate with your heart, but intelligent with your mind. Because um, it'll reach a certain point in time period where well, they'll try to guilt trip you and make you feel bad for putting your foot down, but... That's where you need to stay calm. You can't let their issues control you. You know, if you kick someone out and they don't have a place to stay other than their parents' house, guess what? It's not your problem anymore once they're gone. 
You know what I mean? Stay calm about it. Don't let their emotions affect yours. Only in the sense of being considerate. Because you don't want to be mean. You don't want to be rude. But there, there is a time where you need to respect yourself. And that is extremely important. So. I think that that's all that's coming through for your general relationship reading for April 2017. I hope this was helpful and I really hope this resonated with you and I hope that you take control of your life and y you just, you move on with it and you become the best version of yourself and you become more happier because there's nothing I hate to see the most in a Libra upset. So, um, yeah. I really hope this resonated with you and you can pick something from this reading. Um, I highly suggest watching your Sun, Moon, and Ascendant videos to get a more accurate overview um, for the month of April. Um, if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more, subscribe and thumbs up this video so it's seen by more people because that's how the algorithm works. And comment if you have any questions or concerns about this. Alrighty, um, I want to thank you for watching Libra. May your April be great.